Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read whole question remove element. Okay, so let me explain with this example 3, 2, 2, 3, and the variable 3. So actually, description said what to do. So first task is change the array nums such that the first k element of nums contain the element which are not equal to var. So in this case, variable 3. So that's why um, we should have uh, 2, 2 at the first two place. So here. And then the remaining elements of nums are not important as well as the size of nums. So we should only care about uh, this position in this case. So we don't have to care about uh, this place. And then second task is just return k. So um, k is a return value. So we should have k pointer at index 0. And then basically iterate through one by one. And uh, every time, uh, compare current number with var. And if they are different, uh, we move the different number to k. So um, let's begin. And first of all, we have 3 and a variable 3. So they are same, right? So that's why we don't do anything. And then, so I put i here. And then i move next. We find uh, um, 2. And uh, 2 plus 3, they are different, right? So in that case, up to date k position with current number. We don't have to swap numbers, just update uh, because we want uh, like a not uh, not target number uh, at the first k place. So that's why just update the uh, um, k position uh, with current number. So in this case, up to date k number with two. So now array should be like this. And then, so we successfully update index zero, so that's why k move next. So next target position is index one. And every time i pointer move next, and then so current position is uh, current number is two and the variable three, so they are different, right? So that's why it's time to update k position with current number and update k number with current number and like a two two. And then, so we successfully update index one. So next target um, position should be index two. And then move next. So now we find the three. So they are same, right? So that's why we don't do anything. And then move next. So we finish iteration. So all we have to do is just a k position. So in this case, k equal to two. So two is answer. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize k pointer, start with index 0, and uh, start iteration. So for current index in range and uh, length of nums. And then, as I told you, if current number is not equal bar, so if they are different, update your k position. So nums k equal nums i. And then um, move k pointer to next, so plus equal 1. And after that, all we have to do is just return k index. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, uh, where n is the number of element in the input array. So that's because we iterate through all numbers one by one. So that's why. And the space complexity is, I think, O1. This is an in-place solution. So if we find a number which is not equal to bar, so in that case, update a k number with current number. And uh, we use a input array. So that's why uh, we don't use an extra data, uh, data structure or extra space. So that's why O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.